and then you can just go through and just zip these down no problem and it just finds exactly where it needs to go hey guys brad here and today we're going to be taking a look at a decking system i have not used this before so this is mostly just an unboxing but i want to show you what i got and sort of some of the reasons why this is the camo system in particular this is the camo drive system and what it is you can see on the box here it's a attachment for your drill to drive screws in while standing up into deck boards and there's two different ways you can do that with this system and i have both fasteners so i'm going to show you the fasteners and we're going to open this up and kind of take a look at the whole system and in a future video we're going to actually get into it and drive in some screws into some deck boards because we're doing a bunch of caillou wood decks and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notify bell because there's going to be some really cool decks coming up and if you're not sure what caillou is it's a hardwood here's some yellow batu which is a type of caillou wood our next deck is in moranti which is basically the same as this but a little darker and it's got more red tones to it so that's a big reason why i purchased this is because i want to change how i'm fastening these types of decks down all right let's take a look so like i said this unboxing i have not opened this yet um and you can tell we're in canada because it has french yes we are in canada there are french words all over this <laughs> so this costs about oh what is it two or three hundred dollars um i just bought so much stuff for decking i didn't even look at the price but um yeah this is this is 330 bucks in canada so this is what you get some instructions this is the driving part and what have we got in here got all kinds of gadgets so these are the bits and they're giving us two different bits and then we've got a couple different ways to fasten screws so there are two systems basically with the camo there are the screws that go through the side right here and then there's a clip system now behind me i bought two buckets of the clips and I also bought some screws. And uh, it's, it's really a cool system, I think. And I've got the smaller camo drive system where it's, it's just really small and you put it right over the board and it spaces it out and then you use a drill to screw in that way. I want something a little faster, something that I don't have to be on my knees. So let's take a look at the clip system first. So, one of these boxes, you get, how many do you get? I think it's like 500 screws, or 500 square feet, and you get 900 pieces. And so, in one of these boxes, you get a decal, you get some instructions. They also give you three bits, and this tool right here. So, this tool, every kit of... Um, screws or fasteners you get one of these tools and the way this works essentially i'm going to try and do a little bit of a mock-up here is if this is a floor or joist deck joist you clip these over the joist okay and you will already have a board in here and you slide it on like this and then you slide your next board into it just like that, a little tricky balancing act here, guys. And then this has spacers on it right here. You slide that over and then you just drive the screw in. Now this cup system is cool because it eliminates the risk of when you're coming down and you're driving this screw in here, it eliminates the risk of missing. So if we didn't have this, and I believe this is the the bit for these you know you'd miss and you'd hit your board so having this on here you just run it at full rpm 
and hit it and it just drives it right in. So it's really, really nice that way. Now, another system I'm gonna show you, I got this, um, where is it? The camo lever, I'll show you that in a second, but what it does is it pushes the boards together and that's part of this system. You gotta push all these boards together and I'm gonna explain to you why I really, really like this in a minute after we kinda run through these. So these are the clips and this is a metal screw, metal little clip right in here and that's going into the groove of each board and then this is all plastic which just kind of holds it temporarily while you're putting the whole system together. You can snap these off if you have to do some like 45 degree uh, fastening, if you're running your deck at an angle, um, things like that where it's a little bit different, you can snap those off. Now the other style, you can buy screws on their own but with this particular system, you get these strips. And I love any kind of fastener that's on a strip. I use the, um, you know, the DeWalt drill behind me for drywall tools, right? It's on the Senko. It just, anything on a strip really, really speeds up the whole process. And I'm all about, you know, productivity. So. I've never used this before, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I have not read the instructions, but uh, I'm a guy, so I should be able to figure this out, right? So <laughs> the handle goes on here, like so. And this comes with two options. This option right here, it's a metal nosing. And this is basically this system here. It, it allows you to come down on these clips and it centers it and you just drive in. So you can do repetitive screwing. You can get all your clips set, you got all your boards compressed, and then you can just go through and just zip these down, no problem, and it just finds exactly where it needs to go. So this is the main reason why I bought this system is because of, of this. Now. There's another system right here, which is for screwing these boards in on the side. And that's what I typically use for the hardwood is screwing on the diagonal because you want to get some screws in on this wood. This wood can cup sometimes. You really have to be careful when you're installing these hardwoods. They need to have airflow underneath. If you don't have airflow, you end up with all kinds of problems as far as cupping and warping and twisting and all that kind of stuff. So really make sure you've got airflow under your deck and, and you'll be okay. On a particular job we're doing, we're having to match an old deck where they used Maranti and another section we're building. Uh, we have to use the same fastener just because you can kind of see them on the sides and so that's why we're using this whole system. So let's take a look how this all goes together. There's obviously a depth of adjustment right here. Not too bad. There's no lock on that. It's a little concerning but we'll see once we get this tested hopefully that doesn't move on its own. So that's your depth of adjustment and then in here People are going to make fun of me because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But, uh, okay, it looks like that goes like that. Are those the directions? <laughs> <laughs> are those the what? The directions. Those are the, we don't need directions, babe. We're just going to figure this out. So depth of adjustment. Just got to figure out how to get this in there. Oh, I see. This comes apart, and then this will go inside. All right. And then this is your tip. That slides on here, like so. Oh, yeah, I'm figuring it out. Figuring it out. All right. 
just like that. So this little pin locks the nose in. Now these strips, how do they want you to do these strips? That's a good question. We got to get these strips in there. Clearly I've got to figure out some stuff. Looks like this slides in the back. It says load screws, pretty self-explanatory. And there's arrows on these. A lot of the times um, collated type stuff have this. So you got to make sure you're putting them in the right way. So that slides up like so. Piece of cake. All right. Then these turn and go in here. Okay, we're looking good so far. The biggest thing is how does this get in there? I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. It's a pretty sweet system, guys. I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. Hope you are too. So this camo drive, like I said, is about 300 bucks. And you got all these different ways to attach. We're going to have a video coming up here real quick with this all in action. Now, they got the camo lever. I just went full camo today, guys. Now, as you can see in the picture, this is a way to compress all your boards together. So, these screws would be these clips, all right? And essentially, you just put them all in place. You put all your boards in, and I, I hear that you should do like four to six boards at a time and if you're doing 20 foot long boards this is such a fast system because you could buy a couple of these camel levers you lock them in place and you compress the boards all together and then you go back and you just screw these off the reason why i like this is because of the speed i've been watching a lot of videos talking to a lot of guys suppliers and so on and it's just so much faster than doing it by hand on your hands and knees or even using the tiger claw system, which is a system that we've been using now for quite a while. And yes, they're fast. It's a pneumatic tool and you can just go through and blast them all off. But I've noticed with the tiger claw, if, if you are off just a little bit, you can actually start to get a little bit of a wave and you gotta constantly check your boards with string lines. So that's why I like this system. You can compress it all together. You're pushing, you're squeezing all these boards together and then you drive in the screws. So there's no room for error. You can, you can see before you've even screwed them down that they're all locked in place. With the, with the Tiger Claw, you're sort of just hammering away and you're not constantly looking. You're not above it. You're sort of behind it. And that's sort of a little issue I have with that tool. Even though I, I still think they're very, very good and they're worth getting, this system to me just seems a little bit faster and, and better. Now, saying that, you know, I don't recommend using these clips on this type of wood. So any Caillou wood, you know, the, the red, the yellow, Batu, uh, the Maranti, any of that stuff, I don't recommend this because you, you know, the, the suppliers say you should get a fastener on the diagonal through this wood to really hold it down. So don't use these clips. And, you know, so the Tiger Claw clips are better than these as far as strength, I think, because the Tiger Claw clips are full metal and they will really bite into the wood and hold it down. They say that you can use Tiger Claw clips on hardwoods. And I think they're probably right. This, this type of clip is a little smaller than the Tiger Claw. And I think there's more room for these to, to fail as far as, you know, if this wood wants to start to cup, it's just gonna pull this out. So that's why I don't recommend using this. Now I might change my tune in the future here, um, but from what I have found with all my research, I wouldn't use these. I would use this style instead where we're going through the side at a 45 degree angle. Now this camel thing, I think I spent like 200 bucks on that as well. And here's, here's what it looks like. I've never used this either. This is full 
metal construction. It's got some pretty hard plastic in here. All right, and as you can see in the picture, you put it on the board like so. I haven't set this up yet, but tighten this down and then use this up against your board to tighten it. Now I still have to install the set screw here that pulls this wheel over and, um, and then you, this will lock in place. So it keeps that squeeze on the board. Very, very cool system. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I'm going to have to buy another one. It's just such a busy time of year. They're kind of hard to find. So I will be getting a second camo and then I'm going to do a whole video on just the camo and showing how to use it and, and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe again, like I said, cause there's, there's more coming. Um, okay. I think I've gone over everything here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's a little bit all over the place, some of my opinions, and it's mostly just an unboxing, seeing what you get, but uh, a little bit of knowledge for you. Please subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up if you liked the video. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.